Here, I got some bad news for y'all. Um, I had to shave. We got this going under here, but that's about it. I had to shave. Um, I what happened was I was trimming up the sides a little bit back here, and I went too far over, and I fucked it all up. So I'm pretty pissed about it. I mean, it was yesterday, so I'm I'm not as pissed. But I'll tell you what, when it first fucking happened, I was livid. I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me? I've been working on this now for almost two months, and now I gotta shave this shit." But I'm gonna have to restart. <clears throat> Let's go square one. So. Yeah, it's, it's pretty retarded. I mean, I had to shave it off. I mean, you see it's completely gone. I just got a little goatee and a mustache. That's all I'm, that's all I'm rolling with right now. But uh, I'll get it going again. I just want to let you guys know. I haven't made a video in a, in a minute, so I just want to let you guys know what's up. Um, yeah, it sucks. I'm not happy about it. I mean, I had to shave it, but you got to do what you got to do. I mean, you can't, whenever it looks all fucked up and shit, you can't keep it there because... Then, you know, you know, it just looks stupid, and then, I don't know. But, it was going strong, too. I had it looking pretty good, and then I had to shave it, but... Oh, well. What can I say? But other than that, I mean, things have been going good. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting into this rap thing pretty hard. Um, I don't know, it's because I, I like writing music, and... <clears throat> I can't really write acoustic shit. I mean, the only thing I can write is rhymes. I, I just, I can't write that, you know, you know, song acoustic shit, you know, it just doesn't work for me. So, because I, I just, what I do is I listen to a beat, and I'm finally making my own beats. I got this LM Linux multimedia st software or whatever, studio, whatever it is. Finally, I, after like three hours of looking at videos, I figured out how to make beats, and I'm starting to make beats, so I'm going to be putting out some original shit. I'm getting a mic and some stuff like that. I know... It's a little different. I'm still going to be making face hair, fa blah, blah, blah. facial hair updates, ear stretching updates. You know, I'm not going any bigger. Um, still got the three quarters of an inch going on. But uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I haven't talked to you guys in a while, and I just wanted to make a video let you know what's up. So, yeah, but like I was saying, I'm still going to be making them videos. You know, same old shit. I just want to add something new to my channel. Um, by the way, um, movie recommendation. If you haven't seen Straight Outta Compton, you gotta see it. It's, it's a really good movie. It's, I mean, the first hour is amazing. And then you get to where they all get divided up and shit. And some people say it came, you know, a lot about the money for them and shit. But honestly, I, I think it was really cool. I mean, like, I, I understand, you know, like, whenever they went. I'm not gonna spoil anything for you, but, like, some, like, towards the middle of the movie, you might get kind of, like, uh, -uh. But one the ending is 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 pretty awesome. I mean, it's sad, but it, it's it's good. I mean, it's definitely worth watching. Um, but I'm watching the Kimbo Slice uh, documentary thing on his street fights and his uh, live fight with Dada Five Thousands on tonight. So I'll be checking that out. But I don't know if you can see. Uh, where's Kimbo? That's not Kimbo. Hold on. He's to the left. There's Kimbo. Well, anyway, um, I love Kimbo Slice. He's awesome. Big fan. Um, just search his shit on the, on the internet. I mean, he's an MMA fighter now, but you search his shit on the internet. He, you know, had a lot of street fights. Good shit. Sorry, I just got home. Very long day up in St. Louis. Oh, long day. Luckily, I got a nap in there, though. I had to take a nap because I was in... I have asthma, which is bad because I smoke, too. So, it's it's kind of it's kind of bad. But, uh... Oh, shit, what was I saying? Yeah, so I woke up from this nap, and I'm like, I can't breathe. So, I just got home, and I had to do a breathing treatment, which I don't know if you know what that is. It's like this, like, cup type of thing with, like, a, a mouthpiece on it. And you put albuterol solution in it, and you tighten it down, put, a, put the, uh the uh, rubber hose on it and it's connected to a nebulizer which is basically just this machine that pumps air through it and then it brings it vaporizes the medicine and you can and it gets in your lungs and opens up the air the uh, capillaries or airways or whatever the fuck it is so I did that um, yeah I don't know if you guys knew that about me I had asthma but I, it's it, honestly hasn't affected me in a long ass time I haven't been on I, I used to take this uh, Advil or uh, Advil asthma inhaler um and it's not like a rescue inhaler it was called qvar it was like you take it twice a day you know just twice a day i haven't 
had that in five years, five, six years maybe, and I've been fine, but lately the weather's been so up and down. Like yesterday it was like 40 degrees, today it was 72, which was beautiful. I mean, I was outside in my bro tank and just like, excuse me for calling it a bro tank, I know that's probably really douchey of me. But anyway, I was outside and it was really beautiful. You know, great day to be up in St. Louis, just, you know, doing my thing. And I don't know, I just want to make this video. I haven't talked to you guys in a while and, um,. I don't even remember the last time I made a video. I know it hasn't been too terribly long, but it has been a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I just want to uh, see what's up with it. But hold on a second, I gotta check something. I'll be right back. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, to make sure I took my medicine, I set it out on the counter. I'm on a bunch of different medicine. That was Advil I took, though. I have a, I've been having a really bad mouth infection. Uh, so I had to get, go to urgent care, get an antibiotic, get some pain meds, nothing good. Just uh, Toradol, I think it's called. It's like narcotic um, strength pain medicine, but it's not a narcotic. So it doesn't fuck you up or anything, which is fine. I mean, I just wanted something to take the pain away. But honestly, it didn't work that well for me. I just kept taking Advil. You know, I mean, because I was in so much pain. Like, I don't know if you guys ever had a toothache, but people say, people who haven't had a toothache, they're like, oh, toothaches are probably ain't bad. They're fucking bad. When you get a bad toothache, I mean, you it, it, it brings you to your knees. You're just like, oh, and my whole face was swollen. It's still kind of swollen a little bit right here, but it went down a lot. But I'll tell you what, I was in so much pain. I could, like, every night when I tried to go to sleep, I mean, I'd go to sleep for an hour, wake up in excruciating pain, take, like, five Advil, Wait for it to kick in, and finally get some relief, go back to sleep, wake up five hours later, fucking same amount of pain. It's ridiculous, but, uh, sweet, another street fight, Kimbo's kicking somebody's ass. That's one dude I would not want to fuck with, is Kimbo Slice. He, I mean, he's a great fighter, but, I mean, he's huge, he's like 260 pounds. Hey, that might not be accurate, so don't hold me for that, but he's a big dude, he's a big dude. Just got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Sorry, had a little Friday in me. Um, anyway, yeah. So, um, just guys, comment. I mean, I know I haven't heard from you guys for a while. You know, I, I want to know what you guys are still watching my videos. I know you might not be into the rap thing and stuff, and I understand that you don't have to watch those. But the, the updates and just me, the vlogs or whatever, just hit me, hit me up. You know, um. You know, if you ever want to talk to me, like, one-on-one -on -one or person-to-person, -person, just ask for, you know, uh, my email my email or something like that. I would give you guys my phone number, but I'm not, you know, I would have to do that in a personal email, and I don't know, you know, like, I don't know you guys that well, so I don't know, you know, who's crazy and who's not, but, you know, if I got to know you well enough, I'd probably give you my phone number and we could text or something, you know, I, I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. But yeah, just uh, send me a personal email. I'll put my email in the description. And I, I don't check my email often, but I do check it enough to know when I'm getting emails because my phone goes off every time I get an email. I have a shitty ass iPhone 4, but we're upgrading to uh, Androids pretty soon. We've been due for an upgrade for like the last four months. We still haven't got new phones. So, but we're going to be getting them soon. So, <sighs> yeah, I just want to let you guys know. Um,. Why don't, you know, some of you guys that uh, subscribe to me, uh, why, well, you guys should make a video. I want to see what you guys look like in your ears, because I know one of you said you're at an inch now. And I forgot who it was who said that. But whoever you are who said that, I know, I can't, I'm sorry, I, I know, I can't think of your name. But uh, you should make a video, like, share it or, like, respond, give me a video response or something so I can see it, you know, I mean... I mean, just use a cell phone camera. That's what I do. I mean, you don't have to have, like, these professional-ass cameras all around. I mean, I my, my parents have this really nice uh, camera, but see, the thing about that camera is it's, like, really good resolution, but the fucking thing takes, like, 18 to 24 hours to upload a five-minute video, and I am not shitting you on that. It's for real. Like, I went to bed, uh, went to sleep for, like, 12 hours, woke up. It wasn't even halfway fucking done yet. I was like, okay, I'm canceling it. I remade the video on my iPhone. 20 minutes, the video was done, it was uploaded, so yeah, but, uh, uh, that girl that I like, I don't really know, I mean, the, I should say the girl that I love, I don't really know what's going on with that, we were supposed to hang out on Valentine's Day, she kind of flaked out, 
So, I don't really know what's with it. But, uh, still love her. I still don't know what to do because, I mean, it seems like she, she's just, like, you know, ducking me. I don't, I don't feel like she really wants to be with me. You know, and I don't see why. I mean, because I, I've been there for for everything. You know, I'm always there for her. Like, and... I mean, maybe, I don't think I'm ugly or anything, so, I mean, maybe, I don't know. I don't think that's the issue, honestly, but, I mean, and for me, to be honest with you, it's not all about looks for me, and I'm not just saying that because I'm not the most attractive guy on the planet. I'm saying that just because I believe on the person, what they are on the inside, what they're like, if they're nice, if they got a good personality, you know, if they're funny. I love people who are funny and smart. I don't like, I'm not going to say I don't like dumb people because, I mean, that would just be really you know, ignorant of me, but no, I'm just saying, I, I like a girl who's intelligent, and, you know, so we can have stuff to talk about, you know, some similar interests, and I mean, we both like the same kind of music and stuff, you know, I mean, she doesn't like rap, but it's, we both love rock, I mean, I've been listening to rock for like a long time, sorry, my hair is a freaking mess, I still haven't got it cut yet, that's why I'm wearing a hat, <laughs> I'm wearing a hat all day, I was wearing my St. Louis hat, but I put on my tap out hat just because I want to change but anyway I don't know I'm, I'm just I'm looking for I don't know if I'm gonna continue with this girl or not just because I mean I love her but she's not giving me anything she's not like she finally said she goes I think I'm ready and she was talking about a relationship I was like okay well I, and I asked her I was like well let's get in a relationship and then she like completely changed the subject and it's like well, why'd you say that if you're gonna change the subject you know and I'm telling you guys this just because I mean I don't I'm not, I'm not a very open person Apparently, except for on the internet, just because I don't, you know, I don't see you guys. I wish I could, but I can't see you through the camera, you know? And I don't mind putting my shit out there on the internet. It doesn't bother me, because, I mean, if, if there's haters, you know, fuck haters. I don't give a shit, you know? But people just, like, you know, when you're watching videos, like, on, like I was listening to, uh, uh, some, some song on the internet, I was uh, scrolling through the comments, and, like, the shit that people say to each other, it's ridiculous. It's like, I mean, this dude just made a simple comment, like, I, I'm not a really big fan of this song. Not hating, just don't really like this song. This guy just said, you're a fucking faggot. It's like, really? He has a right to his opinion. I mean, I know the other guy does, too, but that doesn't mean you need to be a fucking asshole and call him a fucking faggot. I mean, it's bullshit. I know I'm getting sidetracked here, but, yeah, I don't know what it is with me and this girl. I don't know if we're ever gonna get together, and... You know, after th we were supposed to hang out on Valentine's Day, and she's like, well, I can't get out in the snow, and blah, 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 whenever she went anyway to get something to eat. So, and then she's like, well, you can come over here. I was like, well, you were supposed to come over here, so, what's up? And I'm not mad at her, I'm just kind of hurt, because, I mean, I really, I wanted to see her and all that, and, I don't know. But, I, I don't know, I don't think I'm a bad guy, I mean, I care about people, I'm, you know, I'm not just a dick, you know, I, I treat women with respect, you know, you know, unless, unless a, a person gives me a reason to dis, you know, tr mistreat them, I, I, you know, then I, I'll be the nicest guy ever, I mean, I, I've never hit a woman, I never ever will, I don't believe in it, and, you know, if I, if I ever did, you know, I'm pretty sure I could beat up my dad, but he would fucking kick my ass, and I would never do that anyway because I love women. I would never hit hit a girl in the mat. I mean, when with my ex, she pissed me off so much. I mean, I was constantly fucking firing ass mad, and she wouldn't let me walk away. Like when I was pissed off, my dad even told her when he gets pissed off because I do have an anger problem, he would be like, "Let him walk away and cool off. Don't keep yapping at him like a dog. Just you know, walk away. Let him walk away and cool off." She wouldn't let me do it, so I'd end up fucking putting a hole in the drywall. You know, I mean, I'd definitely hit, I'd hit something else before I would hit her, but it's just like, come on, if I'm that pissed off, leave me the fuck alone. Let me cool down for a minute. You know, I mean, she was con so obstinate, just constantly, like, I liked it. You know, you could say the sky is blue, she would say it's purple, just just to disagree with you. It, I fucking hate people like that. I fucking hate them. Uh, and I don't hate her, but I, I, I dislike her very much. I, I very do. I, I, I dislike her. Very strongly. Um, not saying I wasn't ever a dick to her, because I probably was. I'm not talking about the same girl, I'm talking about my ex. But either way, um, I'm just I'm getting sick of these fucking shallow ass people, you know? I really am. But I don't know. 
I'll find somebody eventually. Thanks. I mean, I can. I got shit to offer. I mean, I don't know. Fuck. I, I, I don't know. I'm doing. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.